Hello there. So in today's video, we are gonna be installing a Benpack four post lift. So I picked this up yesterday. Um, I'll throw a picture in here somewhere and you'll see it was quite the package. So I unloaded it last night and I'll tell you what, I busted my, you know what, these things are a lot heavier than they, than they look. Used some thinking and was able to get them off the trailer. Pretty busy weekend for us. Uh, this gang starting to start excavating out back for the garage we'll be putting up. That'll be in a separate video. And um, yeah, there's like 92 pages of instructions for this. So I'm not gonna take you through every step. I'll put a time lapse in here of us installing it. This is probably gonna take place over two days because like I guess the first half of today, we're going with what the weather allowed and um, getting some site work done. We ran out of hard pack, so time to install the lift. But it'll probably take about two days, seeing as most of today's already gone. As far as the lift itself, I'm pretty happy with the way everything looked, with the exception of some scuffs and some, you know, light damage on important things like the hydraulic pump. But I'll be calling Ben Pack on Monday, and we'll see what they're d willing to do. We'll get everything installed and hopefully uh, it works as is. If not, I'll keep everyone updated with what my impressions are of this. But so what we'll do is we're just gonna jump into the time lapse right now. Rumor spread around in that Texas town. About to check outside the game. And you know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you wanna go to that whole mile on the range. They got a lot of nice girls. Huh? about 9 30 or so so we had a pretty productive day between installing this and all the garage prep or well, back garage prep work for uh, the metal building we're going to be installing in the next few weeks so what we have here is pretty much all the heavy lifting done so the only thing the only thing left we have to do is uh, adjust the I shouldn't say only thing but adjust the cable length and uh, run the air tubes and hydraulic lines so that's a job for tomorrow but uh, we'll catch you back in the in the morning when we pick this back up for another time lapse <laughs>
Well, I figured I'd wrap up this video now. So uh, I wanted to wait to wrap this up until we got some more parts from Ben Pack. And there's a couple things that actually, uh, during the insta installation process, we realized. So it wasn't Ben Pack's fault. They actually did a great job packing everything up for shipment. But I did notice uh, when we filled the hydraulic tank or the tank for the hydraulic fluid that there was a leak in it. We were able to patch the patch a leak, but before actually putting a, a vehicle on there, I don't think it would have made a difference, but I didn't want to take any chances as far as the pressure goes. Uh, I had to wait for that, the new tank to come in. So I contacted Ben Pack and let him know. It was clear at the time of you know unpacking everything that the issue was you know, not the product itself, but some damage that happened during shipping. So obviously this unit was was dropped and there's a pinhole leak here. I'll, I'll throw a quick video in to, to show you what that looked like. And um, there's a little bit of damage on the unit itself. I, I made them aware. I don't want to be nitpicky, but you know, you are spending money on this and I want to run, a, run into dealing with issues later on or, or you know, have there be any questions. So I let them know just so they would you know, there's record of it in case something happened in the future. They were great. They, you know, they're really responsive both before and after the sale. So they, they ship that stuff out right away. Um, and they just, they, they took care of it. They were, they're really, really great. I won't go into the exact details, but, um, you know, buy with confidence from them. So the lift's all set now. Everything's trued up, shimmed. Uh, we have it drilled into the floor. I gotta get, so there is an option for a tank if you wanna go through them. I opted to use my own compressor, so I'm just gonna get a, for the times I'm using the lift, because you need air for the locking mechanism. So there's two systems. There's one that goes off the tension of the cables, and then there's another one that goes off of the, sitting up there. So one's off the, one's off air, and one's off the tension of the cables. So, I'm just gonna get a short hose to run for, you know, run from the compressor to this for when I'm using it. Um, as you can see, it's kind of hard to get everything in, but this is great for 9,000 pounds, the XW. So the runways are adjustable. This is a, as you know from other videos, potentially an F350, 2022 F350 diesel crew cab. It doesn't have the eight foot bed. It has a six and three quarter, but this is gonna probably be one of the heaviest 350s that's going to be optioned out um so i went with the 9,000 pound this isn't I'm, you know obviously i'll be working i'll be using this to work on this truck there's really not much i've had to do in my previous trucks underneath other than change the oil and um coat the frame but i was on the fence whether or not to go with the 9,000 versus going up i think the next option is the, the 14,000 but this is ALI certified, so technically this should be able to lift one and a half times the rating. So with that being said, the other vehicles that'll be on here are definitely smaller than my, my pickup, but you can see, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, I have plenty of, you know, plenty of room. It's, um, it's lifted pretty high. The reason I went with the four post versus the two post, which I initially was thinking about, is the garage space. So. We got a little project going on out back where we're going to be moving some of the other some of the other items out there but we may have a, another car coming in the future that'll be stored you know that will use this lift to store so overall very happy with it um, if there's any questions as to whether or not it'll you know your your 350 or your super duty will fit it will so let's take a better look at it from the front so as i mentioned the runways are on this particular model the runways are adjustable you have plenty of plenty of space on this one i actually loaded this myself i didn't have somebody guiding me so um but it's pretty pretty close the wheels are fully on there so the other options i got with this i end up getting a end up getting the jack plates the oil tank which as you see right there and the drip plates for, like I said, later on, if we do end up moving forward with that, uh, the potential new car, um, that'll be, you know, that'll be stored in here in the garage. So we got those drip plates just to make sure, although the car will be brand new, so it shouldn't be leaking anything. 
But with all that being said, the only thing I might end up doing that I was kind of surprised is the finish on this is pretty, pretty smooth. I think I might do like a bed liner, you know, like the, the roll on bed liner kit. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's if it's smooth for a reason. We'll see as we start kind of as we start kind of using it. So, yeah, very happy with this so far. Very happy with the customer service. I definitely recommend. You know, to this point, I'll keep everybody updated if I if anything changes. But so far, they've been great to deal with, and um, I definitely recommend them. If anyone has any questions, you know, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll help out where I can. Uh, as you saw in the video, we did do the installation. For anybody who's buying, note the instructions are in the package. I didn't realize that until we literally had pretty much the whole lift assembled. I was looking at I was looking at the instructions through the online manual on my phone. So I thought, this is kind of weird. They didn't send instructions with it, but they did. So make sure you check the boxes thoroughly. It was in with the cables. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.